Shirt on, pants up. Kid, why are you naked? Seriously, what are you doing? Come on, put your clothes on, kid. Put your clothes on, kid. You're better than that. <laughs> My old Rocky voice. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet. The infamous one himself. No, no, I'm supposed to say it is the infamous one himself. The baddest man on the planet. The human jugger. How do I? God damn it, I forgot how to say my own intro. Let me start over. It is the baddest man on the planet. Planet, planet, planet. Damien McLeod. Now, since everyone's copying everyone's video themes and ideas, I thought I'd just keep it flowing by making a video on Jeremy Buenaria. If I'm saying that right, if I'm not, oh well. Um, seeing that Kenny K.O. has recently called this guy out, um, not really call him out, but just showing, you know, what it would look like once you go off, you know, allegedly, off of steroids, I'll say that allegedly, according to Kenny K.O., 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 K.O. So let me move this out of the way, I should have been did that, I'm slacking on my Mac, and so... We have here Jeremy Buenadilla, and as you can see here, he looks mighty human, mighty ordinary. I guess he just had a pec surgery according to Kenny K.O.'s video. So, this is what you look like right here. You know, pretty mere mortalish, if I might say so myself. Let me um, play a little bit. The best player on this team, I train like it. I'm doing more, I'm better on the field because I do more than all you guys. That's uh, somebody's having a bitch fit. All right, so as you can see there, he looked mighty human, right? Um, now, according to Kenny K.O., um, because like I said, I've never seen this guy take any fucking steroids. <laughs> holy shit, these people. Um, holy shit. <laughs> I've never seen this guy take anything, so allegedly, according to Kenny K.O., you know, this is him, you know, he competes. And this is him, uh, I guess, on. And this is him off. Off. Night and day difference. So I guess he had a peg surgery, something happened. You know, like I always say, people, when you when you're taking stuff, um, you put yourself at risk because your muscles are strong, but your tendons can't really handle it. I don't know if maybe he might have detached his pec from his chest plate. Who knows? I don't know. But one thing you need to be cautious of. Let me get into teaching mode because at the end of the day, all jokes aside, this bullshit steroid taking is not beneficial. It's not needed to build muscle and look good and and be healthy. Now, if you want to go to this above and beyond look, you're going to need to do that shit. But I recommend you don't. Now, I don't know what happened, but of course, apparently he has some kind of surgery. And then you go from this, you know, with your, with your trophies. And your, of course, there's some Photoshop in there, allegedly. I don't know. I mean, I would assume, you know, this is a professional picture. You go from that to that. That's why I'm the captain. That's why my name is going to announce all the time. That's why I'm the champ. I'm gonna outwork every single one of you guys. All right, shut your ass up. All right, so he's the champ. So uh, yeah, right there. I guess he uh, he pulled a little something. He had a boo boo. <laughs> he pulled some shit, and you know you got to get off the stuff according to Kenny Ko allegedly. I don't know if he's taking anything. I'll say that to cover myself. That's what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? You start to lose. He had the surgery. He's not on anything. Apparently, according to Kenny. I keep saying that and you know you lose a lot of muscle you know what I'm saying I want to say this people you don't get like this naturally I'll say that this is not what a this is not attainable naturally I see that a lot in fitness channels a lot you wouldn't believe how many times I see that and I know some guys may be trolling when they say it but some guys are actually fanboys and they actually kiss ass on some of these um you know, fitness YouTube guys who claim Natty. Like, there's a Natty Crew 2.0, I want to call, because the old fake Natty Crew allegedly with, um, what's his name? Uh, um, Ogus, Matt Ogus? Yeah, his, you know, him and then the Jeff Said and all those guys. And the chest bra, that's like the fake Natty Crew 1.0. And then we have, we have the new fake Natty Crew with David Laid and. Uh, what's that other guy name? I can't think of his name. Um, how about the button fucking work? It doesn't want to work. But, um, yeah, you know, David Lay and those other guys and his whole crew, McKenna and all those guys. Super fraudulent, Natty, man. Super fraudulent. 
you know what I'm saying? But, you know, these guys claim it. Allegedly, like I said, I haven't seen them shaking shit, you know. I just see people getting crazy strength gains, you know, in three months. I see guys who struggle with 250 and then they're hitting 390 and shit like that. You know, I see some guys just popping up with gyno all of a sudden. I see some guys talking about how they get their traps big and they never mention the stuff they might have taken to help that out <laughs> it's a lot of fraudulence man i think youtube fitness is waking up to it i think they should have been woke to it but like i said there's a fool born every minute there's always someone who's going to believe that fraudulentness oh here it goes right here yeah i've been making these videos check out my fight channel man. i got the fight videos on deck but as you can see here you know ozoma obolo apparently natty or not zach apparently natty or not um connor murphy apparently natty Wow, I actually got 400 views. Shout out, 400 whopping views! If you only knew the power of the dark side. If you only knew the power of the dark side. But yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff going on in YouTube fitness, man. These guys are just, they're just wild with it, man. Don't fall victim to this fake natty stuff, all right? And don't become a fake natty. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of prestige, like a lot of these guys, you know, they... They wouldn't be famous on here if they wouldn't take the gear to get that way. You know what I'm saying? I can hop on gear and just pop up with some amazingly outrageous size. You know what I'm saying? All gear, all gear. And then all of a sudden I'll be like famous as shit. But no, I'd rather take the long route and do this the right way. Because at the end of the day, this shit does affect you. Not only mentally, but physically. And it breaks you down. How many bodybuilders have died? How many bodybuilders get on how many bodybuilders get on steroids? How many are still around? How many have died? <laughs> I want to be dramatic when I say that. How many are still around? Not a lot. A lot is a lot of gone, man. Fucking Rich Piana's gone, bro. Like that makes no sense. I'm not saying I'm like a super big Rich Piana fan, but the guy's gone, man. <clears throat> and you would think that people would take heed. But instead, they want to look like this. And they want that prestige. See, look, money is the motivator for anything. This proves that people will do anything for the dollar. Instead of taking out the time to just get their natch. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, uh, uh, pause. Pause. I can't scroll the fuck down. I don't even know. I ain't got nothing to say about that shit. You know... <laughs> Time out, man. What the fuck? That caught me all the way off guard right there. Yeah, I, I'm about to end the video on that one, man. Get the fuck out of here. Go hit these weights, man. I can't, yeah, I can't, man. That caught me off guard, bruh. I gotta get off the internet. It's a cold place. <laughs> but yeah, man, look. People are willing to do anything. Damage their body. You may look all cool and aesthetic and buff, and you're gonna get a bunch of fanboys, this, that, and the third, but. At the end of the day, man, you're destroying yourself on a molecular level. Real talk. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You end up dying. You know what I'm saying? It's just not worth it. Not at all. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to scroll down too much. This, is, this shit bores me. There's nothing cool about this type of stuff. Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Four time Mr. Olympia physique champ. Yeah, he's not claiming to be a fake natty. Let me do throw that in there. You know, this guy's not even claiming it. Because I don't think he's one of those guys who thinks he's going to fool someone. I'm pretty sure people know he knows, you know, and they know. So you can't accuse this guy of being a fake natty. But there are a bunch of guys out there who will just lie. He's just like, you know what? I'm obviously four-time Mr. Olympia physique champion. You know, I'm not even going to go there with the fake natty shit. His whole thing is, you know, what happens when you lose, you, you know, when you get off this shit, you lose a lot of size, man. You lose a lot of size. But, yeah, I guess that's it. This video is running dry now. I've been speaking on it too long. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to like the channel, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. And I think this shit's working. Don't forget to check out the live stream. I'm streaming live on YouTube, Twitch, and mixer PUBG only I only play PUBG because I'm really not into gaming like that but I do like streaming and I like shooter games so catch me on there as I catch steam and um wreck 
kids. You know what I'm saying? Wreck these online internet kids and split wigs on PUBG. So, with all that said, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact. 